Right, there we go. All right, so pumped, so jazzed. I have a ton of information. You know, I was sharing with Josh Clark the other day. It just dawned on me. I think this is only my third Wisdom Weekly Friday training in the year 2022. And we're in July. That's a half of a year. How many weeks is that? 26 weeks? I've only done three of 26 weeks. You know what that means? It means we have a bunch of people in our team, in the Wisdom Builders team, making it happen, stepping up, stepping out, leading, training, teaching, most importantly, doing. And that is so fun. My goal is to get to convention. Nicole and I's goal is to get to convention one day soon and have so many presidents team and so many world team within our Wisdom Builders team and within the company that nobody really even knows who we are. Wouldn't that be cool? Like, that's my goal. My goal is that you all are, you know, the names everybody knows, and we're just like some people, new people wouldn't even hardly know who we are. And that would be super cool. That's called duplication. It's called leverage. It's called impact in a lot of people's lives to get to that point. And that's our goal. That truly is our goal. Anyway, we're getting there because to the point, this is my third week in a half of a year being here. And it used to be me and Josh almost every week. So Congratulations to all of you. It just shows the growth that's taken place within the Wisdom Builders team and all of Neolife North America over the last 12 months. It's insane. It's, it's, and it's just the beginning. So without further ado, I have so much to cover in 30 minutes. I can hardly sit straight, sit straight, sit still. Okay. See what I mean? Okay, here we go. And all of that is one Neolife tea, by the way. So this is just pure, natural, organic, non-GMO, pre-convention energy, pre-A team that we're starting next Wednesday. I'm pumped. Okay, Jamie, thank you last week. The number one tool is you and me and each one of us number one tool. I'm gonna be talking a little bit about, little bit about tools today, but let's not forget that. That training last week was fire. If you missed it, go back and see it. The number one tool is you, all right? If you didn't get the text, make sure you get the text. 678-736. 736-8071. Send any text to that number to get on the list. Top 20 is over. Top 20 for the month. Top 20 for the quarter is done, finished, finalized. Where's my, there it is. Um, and we had several, several, several Wisdom Builders team members that rocked out uh, the top 20 for June. I'm sorry, for the month of June, yes. And for the month of, and for the quarter, so let me show you that real quick and we'll move. And I got to move quickly because we just have so much awesome stuff to share. Here we go. There's the month. If it'll pull up. Oh, it's on the wrong screen. There we go. Hey, who can I see? Joseph, can you see the top 20 on the screen? Thumbs up if you can. Thumbs down if you can't. Thumbs up. Okay, here we go. Zane McCourtney, 18th place for the month of June. Brand new director as of May, I think it was. Second month of director in June. Uh, congratulations, Zane, Jamie and Matt Summers, 15th place, Kyla and Adam, 14th place, Brian and Carrie, 12th, Marlon and Sharonda Hester, brand new managers, 11th place, Raynetta and David DeVoe, 10th place, and Alan and Nicole Blaine, that would be us, 60, uh, 60, sorry, for, uh, first place, okay, so that was the month of June, the quarter ended as well. Uh, second quarter of the year ended last night at midnight and we are in a brand new fresh quarter so you're rocking out your first day of your first quarter of the set of the third quarter of the year it finished though with joel and gabby merritt in 20th dwight and Marilee johnson in 18th kyla and adam in 14th brian and carrie in 13th zane mccourtney in 12th jamie and matt summer summers in 10th and nicole and myself got edged out yesterday uh by louis and laverne i love it i love it i love it uh, we're in second place. You know what? Competition is so healthy and good. A tight rising tide raises all ships, and I love this. Um, anyway, gold medals for the quarter six or forty five and above. That's ooh, Joel and Gabby missed it by one point. Crushed a silver medal though. But all, everyone else highlighted here is gold medals, and Joel and Gabby, awesome. Silver medal plus 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 for the quarter. Okay, let me stop. You know what? Do I stop sharing? No, I'm not going to stop sharing because you need to see something else. I forgot to show you last week. Check this out. Check this out. 90 day challenge winners. And I mentioned it very briefly, briefly, Solomon Guzman, a 90 day challenge winner. This is from like four or six weeks ago, whenever it ended. 
Um, we'll be getting new challenge winners here soon, but this is in the Wisdom Builders team. Congratulations, Solomon. Cheryl Callender mentioned that as well. 48 pounds, also in the Wisdom Builders team. Jamie Summers, also in the Wisdom Builders team. And by the way, the first two, Solomon and Cheryl are in John and Jen Winters team, which is also part of Jamie and Matt Summers team. I mean, they're just killing this challenge. And you know what? They're PV shows. They're PV shows it. And I love seeing that. And then we've got Kevin Wade was the fourth winner for last quarter. So I just wanted to make sure everybody was aware of that. Um, convention wait list. I guess you all know this, but what you really need to know, where is it? Where is it? Where'd it go? Oh man, there it is. It says sold out. It says sold out, right? But if you scroll down, there's a wait list. Okay. So just know there's somewhere down here, there's a wait list and anybody in your team, by the way, did you know this? No virtual tickets. Let me say it one more time. If you're multitasking, no virtual access to convention like there was the last two years or whatever. Okay. So that, why does that matter? It matters because nobody's going to get to even get the 10% that they get from watching online because it's always 10 X to be there in person. They get zero. Um, unless they happen to stream one session on Facebook for free or something, but there are going to be no convention tickets virtually sold. Okay. So what does that mean? It means everybody needs to be there. Everybody needs to get on the wait list. If they're not already on the wait list, make sure they get there. Even though I guess my point is this, there's no virtual tickets. And even though it says sold out at neolifeconvention.com, scroll down and get on the wait list. If you want to go and you don't already have tickets. Okay. Also. Last thing before I stop sharing my screen here, since I've got a bunch of stuff up. Um, did you know this in Wisdom Builders Facebook group? There's now the getting started, the new promoter launch. Instead of one long guide, number one is broken down into 14 guides. Guide one, an over intro. Guide two, get connected. Guide three, know your why. Guide four, discover the tools and resources available to you as a new promoter. Guide five, create your sphere of influence list, your SOI, your list of names, whatever you want to call it. Schedule your launch event. Guide six, you can go through these in like one minute, five minutes, five minutes. They're quick. They're bite-sized. Each one comes with a short video that's about a minute or two long. Every new promoter should start in guide one as you enroll new promoters and have them go through those 14 guides to get them launched properly. Okay, just want to make sure you're aware of that. And we made it more palatable, more manageable, more easily accessible. And we're working on something else for that to make it even easier. Um, but for now, that's what we've got. And it's great. Okay. Uh, new promoter launch. Yes. Okay. So did you know this? Let me stop sharing my screen. You need to see my eyeballs because this is super important. Neolife North America just had, and I think even internationally, in fact, had their biggest, again, biggest and best month ever we broke a recruiting record in march and then again in april then again in may and guess what happened in june biggest volume month this company is on fire because you all are on fire and if your business isn't part of that momentum and growth reevaluate reevaluate i'll just say this reevaluate your priorities reevaluate what are you willing to sacrifice short term for long term gain and long term blessing in other people's life and what are you doing about it? Because this train has left the station and it is so exciting. And I want every single person to be a part of it. I don't want you waking up next year at convention next year going, wow, how did we go from hundreds to thousands in a room? How, what is going on here? And you missed out and then you start, that's fine. You can always start, that's what's cool. It's never, ever, ever too late. But like, jo like Dwight Johnson says, the best time to go all in on your business is five years ago. Think if you'd done that five years ago. I always think about that. What if I'd started five years earlier? Where would we be? And God knows. But just don't waste the time. Redeem the time. Okay. That's all I'm going to say about that. Let's see. What else? I am so excited. I think that's it. Oh, step ups. Holy smokes. How did I forget step ups? Did you know we had a ton of step ups this month? I mean, a ton of step ups, possibly a record month of step ups. Probably, I'm sure. So I'm going to go really quick. Managers. New managers in the Wisdom Builders team, Justin Freeman, Callie Harris. I see you on here, Callie. Marlon and Sharonda Hester. Greg Moyer. 
all new managers, new executive managers. This is halfway to director, executive managers, 2000 PV. Marilee Biederstadt, Renee DeVoe, Colleen and John Dwyer, new director, bum, 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 bum. the keystone of the compensation plan, directors, just build 18 of them and you're a five diamond making six figures a month. Okay, I say just, it's what it is, 18. Uh, Nicole and I had another new director on our team, but what's so special about this one is it's the very first person that is by in our in our team and i don't know maybe even in the wisdom builders team i guess i don't know the answer to that in, entirely but bilingual uh myra velasquez and hit director yesterday with part of her team good portion of her team here in the us lives here in the nashville area um but a good portion in mexico a good portion she's shipping products to in honduras her home country and um international director already congratulations myra emerald director joseph i'm so proud of you man third month in a row a director i see you on here crushing it since retreat the difference a retreat can make huh our april retreat joseph comes out and goes i'm going diamond and he's just taken step after step after step in the three months that followed emerald director joseph steininger which also was a part of a brand new one Ruby step up last month, Chad and Janice Johnson, because he's part of Chad and Janice Johnson's team. So congratulations to you, Chad and Janice. Also honorable mention, honorable mention, first month of Sapphire director, they got to do it three months, but for, to get the title and make it official, but they've already done their first month of world team status, Sapphire director, Kirk Kim and Kirk green congratulations to you all and last but not least dwight merrily just did their second month of two ruby so at the end of we're in july now so by the end of july if all goes as planned they will officially be two rubies but second month in a row of two ruby congratulations dwight merrily and there's coming a day soon when it's going to be i'm going to get or whoever probably not going to be me someone getting to read off new step ups to one diamond. And we've got this new three diamond and a new five diamond and a new four Ruby and a new two Ruby. And which one are you going to be? Are you going to sit on the sidelines and watch this game get played? Cause it's happening. Are you going to be in the game, in the trenches, getting beat up, getting punched sometimes, getting up, scoring a touchdown, screaming, not even feeling the pain because of the lives that were impacted and the size of your check when you get it in the mail. This is a fun, fun business. It's worth it. Okay. Congratulations to all of you. I want to talk about something I'm passionate about, something I'm incredibly passionate about. And I am not going to go deep into our story because uh, I just don't have time. But this is what I want to tell you. 22 years ago, we started taking the products. We signed up as a promoter because we wanted to get the products at wholesale, not because we wanted to build a business and weren't trying to build a business. Shared with a few people, got a check in the mail, went, huh, there's a business. Started trying to build a business. Got very frustrated because even though I caught the vision of duplication, replication, leverage, teaching and training, you know, the discipleship model, I'll call it, walking with a few, maybe a dozen, maybe three, but a few, teaching and training them what you're doing. More importantly, you know, people watch what you do. What is it? They watch what you say, man, I can't get it. Uh, but anyway, they, 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 they watch what we do more than what they, what we say. There's a catchy little phrase. I, it's eluding me right now, but anyway, walk with them, teach them, train it, do it, do life with them, do Neil life with them and replicate, let them, let them go out and replicate that. Right. So I caught that vision and I got super excited. Problem is it never replicated. It never duplicated to any measurable worth talking about level. Okay. I'm going to talk about. And I got frustrated and we stopped. Decades later, or well over a decade later, we launched our business in 2015. I was dead set on trying my very best to find a duplicatable, simple system that not just I could get to director and world team and eventually president's team as we are now, but that anybody, anybody, that didn't have some 
literal mental or physical disability. I don't know what physical disability would stop anybody from building this business, but maybe a, a mental disability of some sort, you know, could cause someone to just not have the capability to build a business. But for 99.9% .9 of humans on this planet, that anybody that, you know, I will use that term loosely, but that anybody could do if they wanted to bad enough. And that's why I'm so excited to talk about this because this is that system. This is that system. And, and, and it works 100% of the time. I'll say this, if you work it, okay, it works if you work it. So I want to jump into this and talk a little bit about the most duplicatable system I've ever seen, not just seen done used and experienced now okay so what do we do in this business we expose people we involve them and then we upgrade them to member club member promoter whatever right they request information in this system and we get information to them right and i'm going to backtrack a little bit here in a second but we the atm system add them to a group tag them in a video we want them to see or testimonial we want them to read and then we send them a message add tag message it's super simple not everybody can, not everybody will stand on a stage and give a presentation. Not everybody will stand in front of a living room and give a presentation. Not everybody will get even in front of a Zoom, as simple as that is, and give a presentation. Or sit at a coffee shop one-on-one -on -one and give a presentation. But everybody can, and most will, ATM somebody. Because it's that simple and unintimidating. And that's why I'm so passionate about it. Most people do not join us after one conversation. We all know that if we've been doing the business more than a day, they don't just join right after they watch the first video. Uh, sometimes they do. Oftentimes they do, but they don't always, right? So we must think scalability. If we really have a big vision for our business, it's not about what works. It's about what duplicates. If we have a bigger vision than just, you know, our little business, um, if we really want to impact lives and do this. So in groups, why I love Facebook groups so much. And I don't love Facebook necessarily, but I love the vehicle. And there's no other vehicle that I found to replicate it, duplicate it, or replace it yet that even compares. But in the Facebook groups, everything is documented. Everything is recorded. I mean, if I go do a presentation at a coffee shop, I can't replicate that. I can't duplicate that. And nobody else can use it. Nothing wrong with doing a presentation at a coffee shop, by the way in no way shape all the things are good all the things are good we do all the things okay we do all the things the one-on-ones the one on the the zooms the in homes all of it we will and do do but so for context though but it's not dupl it's not recorded it's not duplicatable it's not not duplicatable it's not uh you can't reuse it you can't reuse it it's not evergreen with the ATM system, all the best videos, all the best resources are in the group. They're documented there. Someone just, you know, adds, adds someone to a group. They tag them in a video. The, the video can answer their question. You know, someone says, well, what about the, and this does hardly ever comes up, but what about the comp plan? What about this? I don't want to explain the comp plan. I mean, I had to read some notes to create a video to make a video about the comp plan. I surely don't want to have to regurgitate that again, but I can easily tag them in a video that's in the group that I want them to be in any way to see the social validation of people having success, right? So, and we have that, um, you know, Nicole and I used to do a lot of live presentations in home. We call them healthy, happy hours or shake parties sometimes, whatever we, we named them different things. Um, other companies, you know, we'll call them PBRs or whatever, private business receptions, just, but it's an in-home, right? So we would drive all over the place doing presentations. We'd fly to do presentations to build our business. And if we weren't out, when that was the system, when that was the system years ago, and that's all we had, if we weren't out doing presentations multiple nights a week, the business wasn't growing, period. And someone might say, well, it's because you didn't have a dupe, you didn't have duplication. Yeah, not massive duplication. No, very little duplication. Why? Because people don't want to go out and do a meeting every night. You know, and they, if they did, they'd get burned out. And the reasons people often do this business, ourself included, probably many of you, one of the reasons is to spend more quality time with our families, not to be gone every night doing meetings, right? You know, so anyway, this ATM system, it's a little bit of the backstory of why I'm so passionate about it. And it does work 100% of the time if you do. Okay, I said that before. It's more about simplicity and not burning our best people out to me. 
Um, and, and, and that's why I love it so much. Also on this little side point here, this isn't all about ATM. We, I believe with all my heart, you should create a schedule. There's a few things I want to share. It's my third training in a year in six months. Um, but on this kind of in this vein, I believe with all my heart, you should treat a schedule. You know, it breaks my heart to see people with part-time jobs or full-time jobs where they must be there certain hours or businesses they own that require certain requirements of them, certain amounts of their time and energy. And they show up for that, for something that they don't even think is giving them a, the better future they want, that doesn't give them the freedom they want, that doesn't give them the impact they want, that certainly doesn't give them the income they want, but they'll show up for something they don't even like. Sometimes they hate, but haphazardly do this business. Just wing it and hope that it works out well in the end. And that's really not a good strategy. This is a multi-million dollar business, but we got to treat it as such. So I just want to encourage everybody, commit. You're on this call because you care, obviously. You're watching it on replay for those of you that are, because you care. You're investing time into your business, at least learning, at least thinking about building your business to be on this call. So I would just encourage you, you know, whether it's three hours a week, whether it's five hours a week, at 30 minutes a day, an hour a day, two hours a day, whatever it is, but be intentional and work the system. And I, and, and you say, well, okay, Alan, I'm new. What, what's the system? I'm talking about the ATM system. I am talking about the ATM system, add tag message, add someone to a group, tag them in a video or a testimony or both and message them. And that is how others, including ourselves, or Nicole and I are doing this, but how others are building their own MBA massive bank account okay even with the phd like i have a public high school diploma there is no high tech there is no high intelligence required to work the system we're doing it and you know we don't we don't have we don't have phds other than our public high school diploma so what what you do is anytime someone express interest the next step is just tell them, Hey, the next step is okay. And we're not adding people to a group that we've never talked to. We're not just, you know, you see people slam 15 people into a group. No, 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 no. We're not talking about that. We have a conversation online through messenger on the phone and store at church, wherever. And there's an interest. We maybe share a story, maybe share someone else's story. We just share a little bit to peak interest. And then it's, hey, are you open to taking a look? Yes, I'm open to taking a look. Great, the next step is, the next step is, the next step is this, and explain the system. I'm gonna invite you to, do you have a Facebook account? Not, do you do Facebook? Oh no, I never post on Facebook. I don't care if you post on Facebook. I wanna know, do you have a Facebook account? Almost everybody does have one, not everybody, almost everybody. Yeah, I have a Facebook account, I don't really use it. I'm not really on there, great, no problem. This woman do i'm gonna invite you into a facebook group i'm gonna tag you in a video it's a short little video or two short little videos that will explain more about blah 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 the business the product depends on which one we're talking about here what their need was what they were open to learning about right and um and i you know and then and then i'm gonna uh well we're gonna connect on facebook if we're not friends right but assuming it's a facebook friend already this is the thing I'm going to tag you in this and then i'm gonna um you know follow up with you tomorrow and can you know hopefully get your questions answered now, that's as simple as it is. We also, another thing I want to mention, we have to get our mindset right. We, I have the cookie. This is, this is my mindset. I have the cookie. I have the miracle in my mouth. They need this. They need neo life business, income, community, uh, freedom, purpose, products, health. They need neo life much more, way more than their one piece of my business. They need Neo Life more than I need them is what I'm trying to say. I have the cookie. You have the cookie. We have to have this mindset. Why? It's not like we're brainwashing ourselves to believe this thing that's not true. It is true. It is 100% true. So let's get our minds squared away. All right. So what, you know, I'm interviewing them. They're not interviewing me. I mean, yes, maybe both, but I'm interviewing them. What questions do I ask? You might ask, well, there is no perfect questions. I just get them talking. Just get them talking. What are your goals? You know, if you were to get started, uh, Joseph, you know, uh, on the products or in the business, like how much are you looking to make? What would be your, what, what would make this business be a success to you uh, over the next 12 months, over the next five years? You know, what, what kind of health goals are you looking to accomplish depending on the context of the conversation? 
right? By the way, what someone's goals are, they change. Almost always someone's goals initially, you know what I mean? Oh, I'd like to lose 30 pounds, but you know what? Once they lose 30 pounds, yeah, I'd like to lose another 70 now because they have hope that they believe they could lose 100. Oh yeah, I'd like to earn an extra thousand a month until they earn a thousand a month. And it's like, well, how about 10,000 a month? If I can do one, I can do 10. If I can do 10, maybe I can do 20 or 30. So our goals will change. People's goals will change. And that's perfectly fine and normal, right? But we need to know our personal reason in that, in that vein too. We need to know, by the way, we do a great job as a company and as a team talking about the features of our products, 22 amino acids, blah, 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 right? All eight parts of vitamin E, all eight omega-3s. How about talking more, and this is a challenge I'm giving myself and Nicole, how about talking more about the benefits? How about talking more about the benefits that, of the products than we talk about the features of the products? Because that's really what people care about. So. We don't need to know all the features. We don't need to know all the science. We don't need to regurgitate John Miller's talks, but we do need to know the benefits of the products, okay? And we need to be quick to be able to share some of the benefits of the products. And we need to be able to, quick to be able to share why do we love Neolife? Why do we love this company so much? What is your personal reason for doing Neolife? People relate to you and they'll relate to me through your why and my why. You know, I didn't have a why that made me cry, but I had reasons to join this business and go all in in 2015. And we need to share with that. I wanted more freedom. I wanted more impact. I wanted more time with my family. I wanted geographic freedom, not to be stuck living where we were living, you know, in different things. We liked where we were living, but I'm just saying we wanted freedom, obviously not as much as where we live now. We wanted freedom. We wanted options. And those are the things, your why and your reasons are different than mine. Some will be the same, but those are the things we need to know. We need to share because that's going to relate. People are going to relate with that and people relate with people. They don't relate with products and they don't relate with features of products and they don't relate with comp plans and they don't relate with companies, but they do relate with you and me and our reasons of why we're doing what we're doing. Uh, that said, don't talk too much, do that and then get some curiosity going. I mean, get some interest, get peak their interest, and then don't be a fool. Use a tool. What are the tools? They're videos in the group. They're testimonials in the group. You know, your upline is a tool. Are you using your upline? Are you using group messaging, doing group chats? Are you introducing your prospects and your new team members to your upline, to your sideline, maybe your downline? Are they seeing that this is so much bigger than just you? Or do they think it's just you working out of your house and it's just your little business, right? Do they really know? And by the way, when you're new, it is beautiful. Group chats, messenger, beautiful. Get yourself out of the way. What's the company? Well, what's the product? What's this? And what's this? And how, what's this ingredient? And how, what's the comp plan? And how do you, what's the percentage? And how much does Neolife pay out? And how do you make money? Great questions. I'm going to add you into a group. I'm going to tag you in a video that explains just that. And tomorrow, okay, listen to this. And tomorrow when I follow up with you, I will introduce you to some people I've been working with through Messenger. You don't ask for permission to put them in a group chat. You put them in a group chat and you tell them what you're doing. Tomorrow, when I follow up with you, I will introduce you to some, some of the people I'm working with. They're amazing. You're going to love them through Messenger. And they can help get your questions answered if you have any. Because I'm new if you're new. And if you're not, Use it anyway. You know what the next, you know, it, 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 it's so critical to do this and we are not doing a good enough job of this. Number one, your prospect, especially if you're talking about the business and even if you're talking to a potential club member, you and I do not know what club members are going to be our future business partners. If they think the business is so difficult, they could never be a nutritional guru like you or me and they could never be a business expert like you and me and they can never present like you and me and we, you know, then they're, they're just going to write some people, a percentage of people are going to write off this business. But if they go, all he did, all she did was invite me to a Facebook group, tag me in a great video, sent me a little message, put me in a group chat with some of her partners that made, they were cool. I got to see pictures of them on Facebook, you know, by clicking on their profiles. Cause I was curious. I wanted to stalk them. It looks like a great community they're a part of. I think I could do that to get my products free, or I think I could do that possibly to build a business. 
you showing them by doing how simple the business is instead of how complicated and cumbersome and difficult the business is. That's number one. And number two, why you do it is when you're brand new, your friends, your family members, your coworkers, they know you, they know me, they know we're not experts in the field of nutrition. They know we're not experts in network marketing. They know we're not making big money yet. They're not going to respect you in this context. They respect you as a mom, may respect you as a parent, may respect you as an artist or whatever you do, but not in this context. So that's why group chats are so, 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 did I say so? Powerful. Again, you don't ask for permission, you don't, you, you, but you don't do it without telling them. You let them know what's going to happen and you do it, right? Okay. By the way, you don't always have to use your upline. Cause you might be thinking someone on this call might be thinking, well, my upline doesn't even respond to my emails and text. I know uplines like that. Unfortunately, uh, I uplines too busy. And I've heard that many times. Oh, they don't use Facebook. They don't use the ATM system. So don't use your upline as an excuse. This is your business. Don't make your upline a variable to your success. This has nothing to do with the ATM system now. This is a lesson we all have to learn. Do not make your upline a variable to your success. You're going to succeed with or without your upline. Use a sideline. If, you, if, if you're in that situation, use your sideline, brother or sister. Use your downline. doesn't matter who. Sometimes the best expert is the person they don't know. It doesn't even matter if the person is truly successful in business or truly an expert. They just need to be someone that the person, your prospect doesn't know. Okay. You have to play the long-term game, the long term. You got to play the long game. Sorry. You got to play the long game. Um, marry this process, starting conversations, ATMing, following up, putting them in group chats and quote unquote divorce yourself from the results. Okay. Even though we don't want to treat people like a number and we shouldn't because people aren't numbers. This is a numbers game period. You know, you don't want to have com commission breath because it's stinky, but it is a numbers game. You got to have that long term mindset. Some people will have to marinate in these Facebook groups for a while. See a few more stories, see a little more social proof and validation before they're like, I'm ready. I mean, I get messages all the time now. <laughs> Boom. I'm ready. How what's your link? How do I sign up? Someone I ATM a year ago, six months ago, two years ago. It's so fun. By the way, don't just, I said it before, but don't just add anyone to the group. Make sure you communicate with them first. Let them know what you're doing. And, and, and if you're, you know, if you're newer and you're not quite having the success yet, you can make up in numbers what you lack in skill. People will say, hey, I'm struggling with this or I'm struggling with that. Question, how many people have you talked to in the last week? How many people have you popped the question to? Are you just open to taking a look? I'm not saying ask them to marry you. I'm not saying ask them to join Neo Life. I'm just saying, are you open to taking a look at this potential solution for the thing you were complaining about that you don't have energy, you don't have time, you don't have money, whatever we hear all around us all the time. How many, so the question is though, if you're not where you want to be, how many people have you talked to this week? How many people have you popped the question to this week? How many of the, all the contacts and the people, you know, have you gone to and started conversations with and cared enough to just start a conversation and ask some questions? and see with intentionality where that conversation might lead. This, this is a simple, simple business. It's not difficult. It gets difficult right here between our two ears. We make it difficult, but it's simple. I mean, this is how simple it is. Hey, Emily, how's it going? How's the family? What are you up to these days? Wait for her to respond if we're talking about a message. And what if she never responds? Whatever. I've already moved on to other conversations. It doesn't matter if she answers her question, you know, just, I mean, if she answers and responds, you know, of course, good. How's it going? How are you? You know, we're going to talk a little bit. But then a lot of times I'll just say, hey, you might want to write this down there. You know, great. Good to hear. Glad you're doing what? Hey, Emily, the fact, the reason I'm reaching out to you is because the reason I'm reaching out to you is because I saw the post you made and it made me think, I wonder if Emily would be open. You know, Emily would be awesome in my business. I'd love to work with her. I wonder if she'd be open to taking a look at what we're doing and having so much fun, Nicole and I together. The reason I'm reaching out to you, Emily, is because I was just curious, would you be open to blank? The reason I'm reaching out to you, Emily, is because, you know, we were challenged recently to think of the three people that we would most love to get to work with. And I thought of you, are you at all open to taking a look 
add another way to add an income stream to your life if it didn't interfere with what you're currently doing. The reason I'm writing you, Emily, is because, okay, just that's that's the deal, right? We could be forever, ever, ever talking to people and never pop the question. That's not good. We could just be spamming people and not building relationships. That's not good, but we need to find the balance somewhere in between. What do I lead with, business or product? Whatever you want. What are you most passionate about? Whatever you're most excited about, that's what people are going to buy. People say, well, I got nobody that's ever interested in the business. Do you talk about the business? Are you excited about the business? Do you think you have a gold mine in the business? Do you? And, and if you do, then do you talk about it? And if you don't, why not? And if you don't, well, why would you expect anyone else to be excited about your business? But if you're and same thing, if you're talking about the products, but you're not excited about the products, what, why, why would we expect anyone else to be excited about experiencing the products? But anyway, so talk about what you're excited to talk about. I love talking about the business. I find it so natural, so easy, so needed. So, I mean, we're all examples of it, right? desired and it's so easy to fall back to the products but i talk about the products too it just depends on where the conversation and the need goes man i can't believe i'm over time i'm so sorry you guys i had so much i wanted to share i'll close with this 553 is a is a great little formula if you want a formula um just a kind of a, a daily method of operation if you will but adding five new people to your uh, contact list a day or, and again, if some of you might not have big goals, you don't need big action every day. If you have big goals, have big action to match. But if you don't have big goals, maybe maybe you scale these numbers down less, but do something consistently every day. But add five new people uh, to your life every day, whether that's online, offline, in person, some way meet five people every day, which isn't very hard to do online. F the second five, 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 three. The second five is every day ask questions and, and start conversations with those five people. You connect, you start conversations. How you doing? How's it going? Hey, I saw you're here. I saw I saw we have this in common. Whatever the conversation is, we build friendships. That's how you build friendships, right? A strain a friend is just a a stranger is just a friend we haven't met yet. So be the proactive one and let's go make some friends. Um, second five is asking, popping the question. Hey, are you open to taking a look? Right? And obviously, there's some skill involved in doing this, so we don't sound spammy and all that. But the only way you get better at doing it is by doing it. Okay, so. Asking five people, are they open? Imagine this, five people a day, every day. That means after 30 days, you've asked 150 people, are you open? By the way, back to the first five, after 30 days, you've in, you've brought in 150 new people into your world. And they may be friends already or in your phone or Facebook friends that you just haven't talked to in years. That would count. That would count bringing someone back into a conversation, back into your world, or maybe into your world for the first time as a new Facebook friend or just reigniting an old friendship right starting up a conversation but anyway so five new conversations a day five are you open to taking a look a day and at different points in the pipeline of those initial conversations it'll be natural to ask that question if we're intentional and three people a day that we atm imagine putting three people into a facebook group every single day that's three times 30 that's 90 people a day that you're atming there is no way you can do that put them in a group chat do it all right it's not hard but do it all right and not get results there is no way and just know you're gonna get no's you're gonna get a lot of no's i'm looking for no's why because i know if i get no's i'm also getting yeses and a no isn't forever a no is just a not yet it's a not now it's a no i don't trust you yet it's a no i'm not ready for something like this yet until my situation changes right it's a it's a no but let me watch you now without you even knowing I'm watching. Some will, some won't, some wait, some watch. So what? Next, because somebody else is on their knees praying for what we have, this miracle we have in our mouth. So much I wanna say on this topic, but I think that hopefully gives you some inspiration and motivation, and I hope it just helps you see how simple, truly, this business can be. If you choose to keep it simple, I mean, we can complicate it as much as we want. I, I've done it. I've been guilty of doing that plenty of times. Um, I'll close with this. If anybody wants to, I think we were limited it to 25 people. I think there's maybe five slots left. I'm not sure. 
Um, but if anybody wants to join our A team, it's just a six week program and it's not just all about ATM system, but ATM system, we'll talk more about it. We're going to talk about mindset. We're going to talk about how to use messenger, how to use the boards app. We're going to talk about, you know, getting prospects, peaking interest. It's really all things, the simple, the simple system of building a network marketing business all centered around this ATM system. So if that's of interest to you, um, a very simple, since it's a long link and I don't even know how to share it. I just pointed a URL there. It's better lifestyle If you want to go register better lifestyle And again, congratulations to everybody on all the step ups, all the success, so many amazing things happening. And in my opinion is we're just scratching the surface of a simple duplicatable system where we're all channeling this together, getting a new promoter, tagging them in a simple success system in the guides to get them launched, scheduling their zoom launch and doing a presentation business product combination of both. Like we did for the Hester's a couple of weeks ago. Um, and plugging everybody into the ATM system that just flat works. It just flat works. So anyway, Lawrence, you have your hands raised. Did you have a comment or question before we close it out? Yes, I just want to say every minute of this talk was a powerful statement that everybody needs to grab. And apply. Jamie was right last week. Each of us is the most important tool. What does that mean? You need to stop and look at this video one more time and stop after almost every minute of what Alan has said and stop and honestly look at yourself and say, am I applying this? Is this really happening in my life? And you need to do it a week from now again and then a month from now. That's the least you need to do with this great video that Alan's done. Every statement was so important, so doable but we've got to do it. It's so easy just to hear it and not apply it. And as the Bible says, that's foolishness. And so again, it was an awesome talk. Thank you so much. And again, I hope people will listen to this at least two more times and stopping every couple of minutes and looking at themselves and being honest, am I doing this? Because if you do, you can impact people. I had Tamson uh, a couple of weeks ago, one of our distributors, and do a booth and somebody walked up to her and said you are the answer to my prayer i've been waiting for you people are waiting thank you alan i agree thank you lawrence that's you know i think i said it already on this call but i i believe because i know it's true people are on their knees praying for a solution that we have the solution to and and anyway i i a lot more I could say about that. I won't because I know we're over time, but I did write down a shout out for these people that I went back and looked and you know, what's so fun about the ATM system. You know, who in your team is working it. You know how, you know, you know, who's putting you in group chats, you know, who's tagging people in the videos in the post. Oh yeah. I'm working my business, but I don't know why I'm not getting any results. All right, let's go see. Let's go look. And, and it's not a, a guilt trip thing. It's like, we want our team to win. Do you want your team to win? I want my team to win. And it's so frustrating when someone comes to me as a man, especially with a problem, any problem outside of Neo life. And I can't fix it because I don't know the answer. I wish I had all the answers. I so often don't have the answer, but in this business, the answer is so simple and it's so fun when you can go see the answer and help somebody else see the answer to help them get where they want to go. It's the best. I love it. Um, but so I went back over the last couple of weeks and just looked in the Neo Life Healthy Living community, which is the ATM group for products and the ideal business Neo Life Facebook group for people interested in the business. And I'll tell you who's working the ATM system right now. John Winters, Shelly Lazone, Angela Sterley, Callie Harris, Annie Interline, and others outside the Wisdom Builders team. Bill Pierce, Callie Harris, and Marlon Harris, and others outside the Wisdom Builders team in those two groups. That's over the last two weeks. So congratulations and a shout out to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of you. I love it. And it's just a matter of time as success breeds more success that we will see everybody doing this because it just works. I mean, I have a friend making a half a million dollars a month doing this, and he's been in his company the same amount of time I've been in my company. Difference is everybody over there is doing it. All right. I hope you will too. Have an awesome day and a great weekend. 
and be here next week for Rayonetta. Who's next week? I forget who's next week. I'm sorry, but it's going to be great. We got a stack lineup for the next 90 days of speakers. All right. And it's not me. See you guys.